Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Kicking It with Karan. Today we have Vinay Kumar, SVP of Cloud Engineering. Hi Vinay, welcome to the episode. Hi Karan. So you've got a very long, rich past at Oracle. Uh, you know, you obviously came from AWS. So why don't you kind of take the audience through a little bit of your journey? Yeah, for the last five years, um, you know, I worked with OC at Core Engineering to build products and also build some partnership like Azure, you know, uh, which took a lot of energy and effort to make it happen. And now for the for, for the for the last, uh, I would say nine months or so, uh, running cloud engineering for North America, where we have taken the effort to bring the OCI core products and values and solutions in front of our customers here. It must be interesting to see the, the transition from being in product, building it yourself over the last you know, five, six years, and now being on the customer facing end. How's that experience and journey been for you? Yeah, it's been uh, super exciting, right? So I think uh, once we realized we have the minimal viable platform, not even a product, uh, we quickly realized that most customers wanted a, a deeper engineering in engagement to realize the value of what is possible, what is differentiated, what they can augment with other cloud investments with Oracle. Uh, we thought that you know, bringing the core engineering right in front of customers will be fantastic. It wasn't easy, but it's been a fascinating journey, right? <laughs> that means uh, we are engaging the enterprise customers and the large scale customers who are bringing uh, their mission critical workloads onto Oracle, what it takes to really convince them, architect with them and also migrate with them and also do the go live. It's been a challenging journey and it's been truly gratifying as well. Fantastic. And so this, this sort of dovetails like very well into the announcement that came out today, which was about um, Oracle's new cloud lift services. Why don't you talk a little bit about what that is and why now was the right time to release yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So customers, when they heard about Oracle Cloud, they were like, hey, this is fantastic. But, you know, there were a few concerns, right? One, I don't have the resources who know Oracle Cloud, right? They know about other clouds. They know about on-premises. Uh, even though this story is amazing, I don't have the competencies to do it. It's too much risky for me, right? And second, hey, we worked within our project schedule. Like it's coming out to be months because I need to really go educate myself, mm -hmm. get the OC set up, you know, get a lot of stakeholders convinced about what is possible and what is not, which was taking a lot of time for customers to realize the value on Oracle Cloud, right? And three, customers were also like, I already have one cloud or at most two, and it takes a lot of time to integrate yet another cloud because workload isn't one thing, but making a cloud work seamlessly with lots of controls that they have in on-prem was a biggest barrier that we uncovered. It all boils down to the competency and the, the risk perception from customer and also time it takes to move one or the first workloads onto our cloud. Right. So to solve this, we said, like, look, let me take that risk uh, and solve it for you. So that's what Cloud Lift is all about, right? Where we engage with customers from application discovery to application architecture to application migration and do it while certifying Oracle Cloud within their control and operating um, environments. And moving this very quickly to realize the value that customers want to. So finally, we can talk about it. Well, I'm super excited. You know, so what we're basically saying is we're going to mitigate that risk by basically injecting lots of talent and engineering goodness into that so that they can get the operational guidance and methodology. And um, in fact, you know, basically migrate to our cloud much quicker, right? Of course. Let me give you a couple of quick examples through customer. Yeah, to make it absolutely. Easy, right? Uh, Cargill, one of our uh, trusted enterprise customer, when they heard about our, our HPC offering, they're like, this is fantastic. You are going to augment my cloud journey to bring certain workloads. I thought I could never move to the cloud. But they were like, ah, oh, like, you know, I need to educate my team. I really haven't integrated your cloud. The way we said to uh, the Cargill is that, why don't we take that and do it for you, right? 
zero risk, risk to you and also accelerated cloud journey to you, right? And the second is Experian, uh, same thing, right? Where they are like a bunch of big data workloads, bunch of Oracle workloads that they want to move to the Oracle cloud. But there were a lot of, uh, you know, barriers that we already talked about. We said like, no, let's take it on us and do it for you right from day zero all the way to that application running live got it within the guard range that customer expect hey by the way uh it is all free right what we right. call included along with your uh cloud subscription right that's right. what makes this magic and that's what makes it customer centric in my opinion got it got it that makes sense so how is this different from something anybody else would do, like other cloud providers, as an example. I'm sure they support their big customers, their large customers. So why is cloud lift any different? You know, go back 12 months, right? Many of the cloud providers offer this, but as a paid service, right? Yeah, pay me X dollars for every dollar of cloud that I consume, and I will do this for you as a full-fledged consulting project, right? That is interesting for some customers, but for most, this is like an added overhead that they may not be able to, uh, you know, invest. And second, uh, it may be interesting for most complex and sophisticated applications, but uh, this won't solve for if one first application that I need to go to Oracle Cloud to break that barrier to feel comfortable about moving applications, right? The other large uh, cloud providers might do this for very specific large engagements where it's an investment they do upfront in exchange for a massive commit, right? What we are seeing here is we are going to treat small, medium and large customer the same, and we are going to onboard them and we are going to make them realize the value of Oracle Cloud uh, and cut down the time to move from months, sometimes six to nine months to three to four weeks. That's the value we yeah. So is it fair to say that, you know, other cloud providers potentially are using this opportunity to drive top line revenue, whereas our perspective here is we're using this as a mechanism to drive faster and better adoption on Oracle Cloud? Of course. And also across uh, hundreds and thousands of customers. Got it. Got it. And so how should partners think about this as well, right? Because they're, they fit into this puzzle, right? Yeah. No, I think partners are a critical uh, part of this puzzle, right? Partners are, in my mind, I categorize them into two buckets, right? There are some partners who are uh, extremely optimized to run and operate an application once it goes live in the cloud environment. So for them, it's like a, a win-win scenario where we will help customer identify and move those applications. And once they go live and we'll uh, work very closely with our partners so that they can run and operate on uh, customers' behalf. So on the other hand, there are some cases where customers are engaging uh, with a partner and us at the same time to identify a complex application that need to be designed, developed, and also migrated onto Oracle Cloud and also operate at the end of the day. In short current, it's not only a valuable asset for customers, but also to partners, and we are doing this at Got it. Got it. My last question for you is um, who can have access to this and when and where? Okay. So every customer, whether new or existing, have access to CloudLift program starting today, right? Wow. Okay. Second, it's not only North America centric, it's a global program. Any customer who wants to move their application from wherever that is running, whether it's on prem or other clouds, onto Oracle Cloud and they see the same three things that we talked about, we are there to help you at a global uh, scale, right? The other amazing app, you know, aspect of this program is customers can get this service for free, right? Right. In a way, uh, they can solve the core problems without really having to uh, think about the budget associated to do this. All right. So it's basically a win-win for everybody then. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Well, hey, thank you for uh, coming on the show and talking to me for a couple of minutes. And uh, you know, this is going to be exciting. I think lots of customers are going to find lots of value in this. Uh, if you have more questions, go go ahead to the website and uh, we'll catch you next time on another episode of Kicking It With Karan. Thanks, Vinay. Thank you, Karan. Let's go back to work now. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs>